Welcome back into our live coverage of the 2012 NAB Show here in the Bloggers Lounge in our Pulse on NAB Show remote studio. I'm Butch Stearns of the Pulse Network. I've carved out a somewhat respectable career over three decades in broadcasting, struggling with this voice of mine. I always wanted to have one of those powerful radio voices, and our next guest, Kurt Kelly, is one of those guys, and I say it as a compliment. Thank you. I you have the pipes, that. my friend. And you know, it was strange at age three when I was asking for a cookie, people were like looking around, <laughs> where did that voice come from? <laughs> I have not gone through puberty yet, so it's a recurring really? nightmare that someday I might join the boys' finishing point. A lot of people that never go through puberty end up in jail. You've made a career out of it. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have, right? actually. You I'm can very... quote me and put that on your website Thank if you, you want. Thank you. Can I quote that? I like <laughs> that. I actually, speaking of where at the blogger's site here, I was blogging and uh, Facebooking and Twittering, about to go live, so I'll be curious to see if your numbers bump up yeah, Absolutely. Because I think we hit about We'll see what type of engagement we get. Okay. Hold that right up close to you so people can hear you. Our mics can you hear are, me now? Oh, there we go. So, for people that don't know you, Give us the Reader's Digest Kurt Kelly story. You're a Michigan guy, yes, but you've been in L.A. for, for a long time now, haven't you? Since ABC brought me out there way back in that century. I'm actually from here in Michigan, which is Sheboygan, a small town in northern Sheboygan, Michigan. Sheboygan, yeah. And um, my mother was very involved in politics, so I was blessed to grow up in a lot of that environment and started in news first doing uh, call-in news reports, and I've had the pleasure of consulting and insulting everyone from the White House to the Rolling Stones. So no it's been kidding. an amazing life. And your company, uh, Live Video Inc. Yes. How long have you had that? Talk about it. Um, in this incarnation, it's been around since the early 90s. Um, we've had other in our incarnations. I actually started my first company while I was working at ABC in Los Angeles. Um, named Kurt Kelly Inc. because I couldn't come up with anything else better at the time. And we've evolved it over the years and now we produce television and film. Great. Um, companies come to us from around the planet literally and we cast voiceovers in any language. I've had uh, recent um, languages that people even in Europe in their native countries haven't been able to find good voice actors and they contact me and within 24 to 48 hours, they're hiring the talent we've sent to them. So, as in this year's NAB show, yes, and the theme of it, the great content shift, I mean, look, here we are, we've got our three cameras set up, we're streaming this live, you've got your camera over Absolutely. there, taping it live, but as, bro as a broadcast veteran, um, you know, you and I both, look what it's become. I mean, what, what has it become in and your opinion? do not blink because it's going to change in another five minutes, right. literally. Um, it has become that you don't have to necessarily, although I would recommend it as a broadcaster or an entertainer, start out in the small markets that maybe right. you or I did. I still recommend doing that because you're going to get to do 17 jobs and find out which one's right. the best fit for you. Because by the time you get to the major markets or major studios, you better be pretty well defined and have an image and be known. Um, with that said, you can start your own broadcast network from your house. Right. You can literally start your own channel on YouTube or wherever, or your own website, and be streaming content. And if you make it viral enough, you can have tens of millions of viewers around the planet. So are you envious, are you jealous, or are you uh, trying to capitalize on all of it? Meaning that, you know, in our day, mm -hmm. to your point, I used to sit in my bedroom and I used to mimic the sportscasters, tape it, and then show the tapes to people and ask them to critique it. You too. I, yeah, I was Absolutely. a geek. But, but we didn't have the opportunities. People would turn off the radio and it was still going because I hadn't shut my mouth yet. I was like, <laughs> WLS, the rock of Chicago. And that still continues with me today. People go, are you talking to yourself? No, I'm rehearsing some lines or something. Because there are times I will go take a class and go, what's a new technique? What haven't I tried? But I'm not jealous. I'm excited. Fortunately, throughout my career, like I said, I've had my fingers pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Back in 1985 when I was at ABC and I was supposed to just be doing a programming job. Oh, and by the way, be on the air and help with the marketing oh, of yeah. ABC. I also had convinced ABC to let me have my own company. I was doing worldwide distribution of syndication even back then. But I also started working with companies like Canon and Microsoft and started R&Ding their technologies. The first cameras used on the space shuttle, the high 8 cameras, the L1, that NASA was using, I was using on the ground, wow. shooting concerts and putting them on the internet for the first time and was one of the first 10 companies in the world to stream live broadcast with Mosaic University of Illinois and Microsoft 
uh, pioneering no download technology. So while I have done entertainment to the public world, the technology world is one I've been intimately involved one in. One of the things I want to talk about, tell me if you agree with me, one of the things I think, you know, everybody's a broadcaster now. Yes. So, so young aspiring broadcasters or performers have much greater opportunity or different channels of opportunity than we ever had years Agreed. ago. To your point about you still recommend that people start in small markets. I want to tell a quick story. My program director at a small television station in Austin, Minnesota in the early 90s was a woman by the name of Angie Kucharski. Market she, 600? Uh, it was market 126, okay. by the way. The television was very good. Yes. It was very good, uh, I thought. It was an ABC affiliate, yes. KAAL. But she made us all come in on a Saturday, uh, all the news team and everybody that worked there, about a dozen people. And she called it Walk a Mile in My Shoes. Wow. But she made us put together we couldn't leave until we had one clean segment, but here's how we did it. I was the sports anchor, she made me be the producer, the line producer, the line producer she put on air. Nice. The person that, that ran the camera ended up doing the weather. Love it. And, but, but we came out of that, we went into it, ticked off, we had to be there on a Saturday. We came out of it with a much greater respect and a much greater appreciation. So here's my comment about that. Young aspiring media makers, yes. broadcasters, have that opportunity today to go out put a camera on their pack, they could stream it live from that camera if they wanted, put the camera in front of it, point to them, blog while they're doing it. I mean, you ne still need to do it all, but you have greater opportunities to do, exactly. This is an eight pixel camera on this side and five on this side, and, and brand it doesn't matter. You know, I just bought a new tablet, it's not an iPad, it's for Sony. Oddly, I do voice work for them, but the technology where you can stream live broadcast from something off your hip, is where we're at today. In another couple of years, it's gonna go beyond that. I saw a technology at this convention that I haven't seen before, and I envisioned that it was coming. Yeah. Unfortunately, somebody else has the patent, not me. Um, they have a new technology that's about to debut this year in 2012 in London at a sporting event, where if there's 100 cameras at their arena, you will have the ability to channel into any one of those cameras. And if you don't agree with the ref call, you can look at all 100 of the cameras and see every angle. You can replay it. You could actually, as a, as a new producer, if you have the right archiving material that they allow, not pirated, I beg you not to pirate, it, take the information and create your own sporting event or your own live concert. Right. Or why don't we get them to do this at the national conventions this right. year and news reporters like you and I can be giving a different spin of what's happening on the floor. They can pick whoever they want to get the information right. from. We're getting to that age where we don't have to be programmed by right. programmers. Long way from the rip and read of AP when you had to wait for them to tell you what <laughs> was happening. Wait for the teletype and remember the days where you had to go change those ink ribbons and yes. it took forever to get that black ink I refuse to do that. Ugh. Where are the gloves, please? I was above that, Craig. You were. At least I thought I was. I see. You were one of those guys. <laughs> Final question set. for yes. you. Uh, the NAB show. Yes. This one in particular and the show over the years. Why does it work so well for a, a veteran broadcaster like yourself? Because it's always a learning experience if you're open to it. I'm not coming here with the drudgery of, oh, i got to shake a bunch of hands. I come here with, i got 2,000 cards in my backpack. I'm going to be handing out as many of those as I can, shaking as many hands as I can to get a card for future opportunities. I don't come here to make the opportunities happen here. I come here to make the doors open for those opportunities nice. once I leave. Live Video Inc. is the name Thank of the company. You. Kurt Kelly Inc. or KurtKelly.com. Uh, sure, KurtKelly.com or LiveVideoInc.com or you can Facebook me on several pages or Kurt Kelly uh, backslash Kurt Kelly one on YouTube. Nice to meet you, my I'm friend. I'm everywhere. Nice to meet you, nice Kurt. To meet He's you. Kurt Kelly. Thank I'm Butch Stearns. This is our continuing live streaming coverage of the 2012 NAB Show.